What's up my loves? Today we're gonna do a, well, let's see. Let's see, I think I'm about a year, po almost a year post-op, oh my God. I got my upper blepharoplasty done in June, 2023. And right now we are at the end of April, 2024. So I am almost a year, let's say 10 months, post upper blepharoplasty and I want to answer all the cues. I don't think I have that many questions for my upper blepharoplasty. I'm going to be honest here. So first let me show you my eyes so far how they're healing. One thing that I don't like is look I'm not gonna lie this scarring the scar took a really long time to heal. I mean, I'm about 10 months post-op now, and I still have a little bit of a, of a faint scar and scar tissue. So it's not like, like if you look up close, let me see if I can show you. You can see, look, you can see that scar right there. You see it just like faintly there. And then it also kind of like dents in there where I had that scar, where I had that tissue removed. This eye's a little better. You could barely see it. Um, but yeah, so the scar, the scarring has taken a long time and it's still not fully done and I'm 10, mo 10 months post-op. So that's just something to keep in mind. And it's something that I've actually learned with every surgery, any plastic surgery that you're going to get. I just feel like this experience has made me a lot more cautious of any type of surgery that I get because I know for a fact you will have a scar and they're gonna lie to you and they're gonna say you're not gonna have a scar you'll never see the scar it's gonna be so light you're gonna have a scar and it's gonna be noticeable to you because you are the one looking at your face every single day so while I think you know maybe give or take another three months year two post-op I don't know maybe that little scar tissue will heal maybe I might have to go in for a steroid injection or something to really help that dissipate but you will have a scar okay um I, I don't know what else to say at least I have a scar and I'm not too happy about it none too plushed my love had I known there would be a scar Perhaps I would have thought differently about this surgery. Um, not really. Anyway, my eyes have dropped. Uh, they're not as high and tight as they were post-surgery. It oh looks very natural for the most part besides the scar and like, besides, you see that little like dimple there whenever I kind of make an, an expression where like, I don't know. It's just something a little bit like off when I make a facial expression that's new like a dimple that's new to me I don't think anyone else will notice it but um yeah I don't know it's it's, it's not it's, it's a little frustrating for me there's also like this little divot here in my eye like I don't I guess I have it a little bit here too um I didn't have that before and I guess I didn't have it before because I had like fat over my eye and like fat over that area so you couldn't really see it and now you can kind of see this like strange divot there again it's not the end of the world it's not a big deal it's just these little minor changes that, like you fixed one problem and now you're like what the hell is that they're not as major as the previous problem that's for sure but I mean when you, one thing I can say about getting a plastic surgery of any kind is when you fix one thing, something else pops up. <laughs> um, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it because my eyelids were droopy city. This one was like way, way lower. Now they're at least even. And like every day I wake up, my eyes match. They're not shifting sizes anymore, which is like, the most amazing miracle that I could have ever asked for. That is the entire reason that I wanted this surgery was because 
I had dual eyelids, okay? And the saggy skin from my eyelids pulling down, my eyelids would settle in different creases. That's what's called different, like, double crease, double creases. So my eyelids would shift with all the excess hanging fat and loose skin. That, it, that was hereditary. It was born that way. And it was like super cute and sexy when I was younger. But as I got older, it just kept getting a little more saggy. And then my, you know, with the loss of fat around the orbital area, it just started to develop my eyes sitting in different creases more frequently because I even had that as a kid. And now I never have to wake up with one eyelid a different size than the other. I wake up every day and my eyelids are the same size. I do still have allergies, so like they might be a little swollen or puffy, but they're at least both the same. And that, that's worth it. That's worth it for me. So how much did I pay for this upper blepharoplasty now that I am 10, 10 months post-op? Um, I paid a total of $4,000. The surgery was very straight to the point. Um, and now I'm gonna just get into some questions. Is using makeup, is using makeup not bad for the recovery from the scars? No, um, you can use makeup after I think like two weeks post-op. Uh, once the, once the scars are pretty much healed and there's no like open wound or flesh, um, you will previously be using an ointment to help, um, the scars and the stitches, and then after that you can start using makeup again. Um, your doctor will tell you when. I didn't knew that scars lasted so long. Yes, now you knew that scars last that long. Um, they really do, and I had to use, and I'm still using scar cream morning and night. I have followed all the post-op instructions. Sunscreen, don't let the eyes see sunlight. I barely see sunlight anyway. Um, so yeah, scars new and do be lasting that long um all right let me see if i got any other comments from you guys comments oh yeah yeah hi did you opt for incisional or non-incisional surgery would be glad if you reply i don't know what that means non-incisional you have to have an incision for them to remove the extra folds of skin that are drooping over on top of the eye. So um, I, I had a, an incision on my eyelids. Um, I didn't know that there was a non, non-incisional surgery. Is that like the CO2 laser? Like I think that there's some treatments that's like a laser that like tightens everything. I don't personally believe in that. Um, I think if you want a result and you want it to last, uh, just go under the knife, get the incision, and make it happen. I, I really don't believe in non-invasive things. Um, I think they're like temporary fixes, and I've even been a sucker for give or take a laser here or there, or a non-invasive uh, wish, but at the end of the day, I think real surgery is the fix for most things. Um, Let's see. To be honest, I think doctors should let patients know they will have a scar even after six weeks. Right now I'm on day five and I'm scared of the scarring I will have. This isn't a piece of cake like I thought. They say two weeks you'll be good, but definitely not. I'm miserable right now and I got a brow lift too. I wish I would have only done the brow lift, but my doctor advised to do the eyelid as well for the brow lift. Yes, um, this is a procedure that is notoriously being touted as a two-week thing and you're just, no big deal, it's just two weeks. Yes, this is not a painful procedure at all. It's You're completely numb, you're not gonna feel anything, but your eyes are gonna look fucking weird for longer than two weeks and you are going to have a very visible and noticeable scar for longer than two weeks. Yes, even after the six week mark. Uh, I mean, I'm still covering up my scar and then like at work, I'll notice, oh, fuck, like the makeup came off and it's still there. So yeah, it's a, it's a long recovery. Anything, any surgery I've just learned, it is a long recovery and doctors lie to you so that you can get it done and be like, woohoo. Mm. My incisions to, seem to be placed a tad too high and likely won't be hidden in my natural crease. Yes, that's what happened to me too. 
Um, and she says that it looks like I'm going to be wearing copious amounts of makeup, of eyeshadow to hide them for the foreseeable future. Yes, um, so I think that they say there's no scar. If you happen to be one of the lucky ones that just gets to have the incision, which I think happened more so on this eyelid for me, the incision and the scar tends to be right on the eyelid crease and then when you open your eye, it's hidden. However, to remove some of this skin, it didn't, my scar did not end up only in the eyelid crease, it ended up right around here. So it was above the eyelid crease to nip that skin. So yeah, it looks weird and it's not hidden and it's a visible scar. And so that's something that, that needs to be taken into consideration for yourself too is like, you might not have the kind of uh, eyelid skin that's just gonna be like, cute, now I have like a double, like my eyelid is the scar, wee hee. Like, it's not like that. S not all the time. So yes, and I feel for you girl, cause I'm not skilled at makeup either. It looks so bad on me, it looks so phony, it looks so fake. I, I just, I, when I put on makeup, I make myself look worse somehow. Um, so yeah, I feel for you. Thanks for sharing, your eyes are really gorgeous. They did an amazing job. That's really sweet, thank you. Oh, I feel so so bad for this person. They said it's uh, the scar's too high, it's not hidden at all. Been using the Skinuva scar gel and it's a slow process. Um, I've made an appointment for a different surgeon for a second opinion. They keep telling me it's fine, but it's all a bunch of gaslighting. I have, an, I have a family event to go to in June, and I can't go looking like this. I'm so sorry. I feel really bad, but it'll get better. I know exactly what you're talking about because my scar is above my eyelid crease too, and so it just takes time. And it's still not perfect to this day, but I will say it is a lot better. It's a lot better. But I'm also 10 months post-op and it still hasn't fully healed, so. Someone said, if you're doing this for cosmetic reasons, you may want to pass on the surgery. That's not a good reason to get cut, in my opinion. Seeing is important. Nobody except you cares how you look. That's a refreshing opinion to hear that nobody cares how you look except yourself. Um, that's true. I don't care how anyone else looks unless they look incredibly beautiful and I make me feel like shit. So that's true. And maybe we should all think like that a little bit more as nobody cares what we look like except ourselves. Someone said um, that their scars are barely visible. So that's amazing. See, different. Uh... May I ask which doctor in Encino did your procedure? Dr. Wang at Aesthetica. Dr. Wang at Aesthetica was my doctor. Five, I'll ask for work from five weeks after the procedure. Is that reasonable? Yes, yes, that's reasonable. Five weeks is fine. So I wanted to throw in some pictures, just the chronological uh, journey of my eyes. This photo here is from, I would think I was like 19 or 20. So, I mean, I have a lot of heavy eye makeup on, but you can kind of see that this was more of a genetic thing for me. And then as I got older, the hooding on my eyes just got bigger and bigger. Um, so you can already see like in this picture, the way that I had the hooded eyes and how they drooped, at least when I was younger, it was a little bit more even the drooping. And then in this photo here, you can see I kind of always am chronically raising my eyebrows just as a as a way to fight the droopiness of the eyelids but this is a photo this is actually a screenshot from a video uh that i was on the phone with my sister on facetime so i wasn't really posing for anything so i didn't lift my eyelids and you can see that one particular eyelid well first off i look like shit but that one particular eyelid is over my eyelashes um, and the other one is slightly larger and raised so if you're looking at it it's like the right eye the right eye um, 
it's got that like really big droopiness and that was what was starting to like really bug me because sometimes I'd wake up and it would be like over my eyelash and sometimes it wouldn't so it was starting to really piss me off um here's another example I think I have a filter on this photo um but yeah so you can see I have got a lot more eyelid space um on the right side and then on the left side there's a little bit more of that sagging so my eyelids are different sizes um here's another example this I was just getting a laser facial I think this was like after the laser and you can kind of see I just had like a lot of puffiness that day um so you can kind of see how there's the slight difference in the eyelids this this example is not like as bad or extreme but yeah um this is me straight out of surgery um yeah so that was that and then this is me now this is me what's that so isn't there like a song from the world's greatest showman or something so you can see now that like i don't have as much hooding um it's not over my eyelash anymore on the one eye my eyelids look pretty even but you can still see faintly if you look at the left side of my face right above my eyelid you can still see a faint little scar there so yeah but now you can see what I was going for and the result and um, I happen to be happy with this this is another photo and another example um, just from the other side of the face so you could see the divots that I'm talking about right in the inner corner of my eye here on the right hand side of this photo and again right above my um, my eyelid at the end at the tail end you can see a slightly faint red line but my eyelids are pretty even um i don't have hooding that is going over my eyelashes anymore and i feel like it just makes me look a little bit more refreshed so i'm happy with it thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions about the blepharoplasty let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them when i have time because you know what? I'm chronically online, so I, I should be able to answer them. Okay. I love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.